Hi there, I'm Larissa, and I'm here today to introduce you to a new product and a start of a new product family for Digilent, the Cora Z7. If you've been following Digilent's FPGA boards, you may be familiar with some of the form factors that we offer. Lately, we've been getting feedback from customers who wanted a product that had more features than our CMOD boards, but was smaller than the Arti boards. So, we put together a specification and created Cora, which we affectionately refer to as Arti's little sister. The first thing you'll notice is that a Cora board is significantly smaller than an Arti board. For example, the Cora Z7 has a board area size that is 50% less than the Arti Z7. Her form factor is actually closer to our microcontroller hobby board, and she shares the same silkscreen coloring and mounting holes as the boards in that family. Like all Digilent system boards, Cora boards include an onboard programmer, offset header pins for a user to connect their own programming solution, onboard power management, and base level designs to get a user started quickly. Like all Digilent Maker and Hobbyist boards, Cora has the dual row Arduino chipkit expansion headers and reference designs that are primarily open source. In terms of PMOD connectors, Cora is closer to her big brother Artie in that she has two PMOD ports. However, she differs in that all additional available pins on the central processor slash FPGA are routed to an unpopulated header that a user can solder to. The first member of this new family is the Cora Z7. The Cora Z7 is built around Xilinx's powerful Zinc 7000 series, an all-programmable system-on-chip APSOC that combines ARM A9 technology with Xilinx 7 series FPGA technology. This pairing grants the ability to surround a processor with a unique set of software design peripherals and controllers customizable for a target application. The Cora Z7 comes in two varieties, a single core 7000S or Cora Z707S and a dual core 7010, Cora Z710. Both versions of the board are identical and only differ in the APSOC that is on board. The Cora Z710 offers slightly more resources including 20% more lookup tables and flip-flops than the Cora Z707S but its major differentiator is the additional processing power that comes from the dual-core ARM Cortex-A9 that's on board. Both Zinc APSOC chips have DDR3 memory controllers with 8 DMA channels and 4 high-performance AXI slave ports, high-speed peripheral controllers which include 1 GB Ethernet, USB 2.0, and SDIO, low-bandwidth peripheral controllers which include SPI, UART, CAN, and I2C, and both chips can be programmed via JTAG or microSD card. For memory, the Cora Z7 has 512 megabytes of DDR3 RAM and a microSD card slot. This microSD card slot is where the board will boot from. For connectivity, the Cora Z7 has USB JTAG programming circuitry, a USB UART bridge, and a USB on-the-go PHY that supports host mode. There's also an onboard Gigabit Ethernet PHY with a unique identifier that's printed on a sticker. This identifier will need to be loaded onto your base design. For additional board I.O., there's two push buttons and two RGB LEDs. As for expansion connectors, Cora Z7 has two PMOD connectors, a dual row Arduino chipkit connector with 49 total FPGA digital and analog I.O.s and there are 12 additional digital I.O. routed to an unpopulated expansion header. Finally, Cora can be powered through USB or an external 4.5 to 5.5 volt power source. As with all Digilent boards, the Cora Z7 will have a base level project and a few demos to give users experience designing with the board. These resources can be found on the Cora Z7 Resource Center. It's important to note that both the Cora Z710 and the Cora Z707S are embedded Linux targets. To help users get started with this, Digilent provides a PETA Linux project to get them up and running quickly. I'm happy to have introduced you to the Cora Z7, as well as given you an overview of the new Cora family. For any questions, feedback, or to get more information, please contact us through our online support forums at digilent.com forums. Thank you.